we are trading on an incredible infrastructure which we inherited from, if you like, our great-grandfathers in the 19th century. But its time is past. It's creaking, it's leaking, it's beyond capacity. Britain is a trading nation. It's what we do, and London in particular is a centre of global trade and global finance. So we have to maintain our position. But the world is changing, so we're seeing a whole rebalancing of the global economy, the rise of Brazil, Russia, India, China. So we have to restructure in order to meet those challenges. One of the main areas that we must make sure is up to 21st century standards is the transport network, because that's at the heart of what creates an economy. Everybody's looking to the future. What is the future? You have a divide between the north and south. You have an infrastructure of transport at a point of collapse, oversaturated. You have an airport which is at 98% capacity. You have High Speed One, which connects the UK with the continent. You have the challenge of power transmission what if you put all these separate elements together? The first phase of the infrastructure we need is to create these new rail networks which go around the capital instead of everything going through the capital to make it possible to connect northern cities across the Thames, across the Channel into export markets in the rest of Europe and indeed the rest of the world. We've got the existing port infrastructure, so making those connections is the important first step. When you build the railway, you can at the same time create an infrastructure that allows you to take power cables, telecommunication cables and the like, and we see that as a real opportunity. There'll be beautiful stretches of countryside where you really want to make it evaporate. If you imagine you drop the high-speed train, say a metre, you line it acoustically and the soil that you've taken out, you heap either side. And with landscaping, you don't see the train. The really interesting thing about the Thames is that we can use our investment to do more than one thing. You could create a new Thames barrier to protect London against floods in the future. You can use tidal energy you could combine it with power transmission. You could create a new airport. You can have a railway station connecting the continent underneath the airport. Put all this together, it could be an incredible initiative. Whether the taxpayer does it or private finance does it, there's a payback. In any one year, it probably won't cost anything more than, say, the year's biggest spend on Crossrail. The cost of doing business as usual is unaffordable and is certainly greater than this initiative. Does it need more courage to go this way? Of course it does. We have a responsibility to plan for future generations, but there is no reason why this cannot be done now and present generations can have the benefit of it, but it is a true investment for the future.